Hi, and welcome to Northern Michigan Canine. Thank you for coming to this website and helping us to celebrate the 15th anniversary of our business here in Harrison, Michigan. Been training police dogs for a long time, been involved with police departments from all over the country, and I think it's time to give you the basic information right here on camera so you don't have to navigate around a complicated website. My name is Brian Gregory. I'm the owner and trainer here at Northern Michigan Canine. I've been in law enforcement since 1980, and that's when I began my canine career. It was in the early 1980s when I trained my first dog out of necessity for my police department. I enjoyed it so much that I've been fortunate enough to turn it into a career. So I have more than 30 years of training police dogs and have trained more than 400 dogs in the last 15 years here at Northern Michigan Canine. Another unique aspect that I'm able to bring you as a dog handler is my other three trainers that come here. All three of them have more than 10 years of handling experience and they're still working police dog handlers out there. Two of these trainers are also SWAT canine instructors. So we have the opportunity to give you the absolute best training that you can get in a four week period before we send you out to be effective on the road. First and foremost, the question that I get is, where am I getting my dogs from and what kind can I get? I'm importing all my dogs from Europe. They're coming from Czechoslovakia, the Netherlands, Hungary, Germany, all, all coming from Europe. Secondly, what kind of breeds am I getting? I get Malinois, Dutch Shepherds, German Shepherds, and all kinds of sporting breeds, whether you're looking for the single purpose dog or the dual purpose dog. And also, the dogs are social. I have to make sure that these dogs can function not only in the classrooms that a lot of you are doing PR work in, but they still need to perform their job out there on the street. So if they're sent to do an apprehension, they're going to do that job for you. And then they're going to be able to turn that switch off and go into the classroom and do the PR work that, that we all require as dog handlers. You know, one thing that I found out that is very, very important is making sure that I put the right dog with you. That means the city that you're working in, the county that you're working in, is this dog going to fit? Not only that, is the dog gonna fit you personally? Is it gonna fit your family life? Is it gonna fit you physically? You can't have a dog that's too big, too small. So I spend a lot of time with you individually, whether on the phone or in person, talking to you about your likes, your dislikes, the, the town where you work, the type of crime that you're dealing with to make sure that I give you the right dog because the wrong dog in your hands is not gonna do you or me any good. Another one of the questions that I get asked all the time is, where does your training take place? You know, our training takes place all over the county here. I've been fortunate enough to be in business here long enough that local businesses, schools, uh, nursing homes, trailer parks, invite us in for training. They love having the dogs around. They love seeing the extra police cars that travel throughout their neighborhoods. So we actually get to train in places where you're gonna train when you go home. It's not the same building every time. It's not the same cars. It's a variety and that's what you need to training. These dogs will learn faster than you will on where they're going and where they're heading. So we like to break it up. We give you the opportunity to do actual police work with your dog on the street before you leave here. The training class is four weeks long. Now it seems like a short time, but there's been a lot of time spent pre-training these dogs for you. So when you get here, it's not uncommon on the first day for you to go out and run a 400 yard long track or to go into a room with an unknown narcotic or explosive and find it. So my goal is to put you out of here prepared for the street and you're gonna be doing things after four weeks that a lot of guys aren't doing after a year with their dogs on the street. So it's important to me to make sure that you're prepared and the dog's prepared to go to work. So as I'm nearing the end of our little video here, I just wanna talk a little bit about what I think sets us apart from everybody else out there. The first and foremost, as we talked about, is you're being trained by guys that are out there actually walking the walk right now. These are guys that are handling dogs on the street. So you're getting first-hand information. You're getting first-hand training experience from guys that are doing it. Also, the training area is very, very important. These animals are smart. They'll learn their areas faster than you are. And you have to give them 
a variety of training areas, which is what we're gonna do for you while you're here. You're gonna train everywhere, and you and the dog are gonna get better together. And, and I guess last of all, it's you get the opportunity to work with me hands-on to select the right dog that's gonna fit you and fit your department. So let me say this to you, my law enforcement family, to all of you out there. The most important thing that we all have to remember at the end of your shift is that you go home safely. So make sure you train hard and surround yourself with good people and a good dog. Don't be fooled by low bids. Good police dogs don't come cheap. Hey, thank you very much for uh, taking the time to watch this video. So now why don't you pick your phone up and give me a call and let's talk dogs.